Hey, what's up, users? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And for quick tip number five, I've decided to talk about adding a favicon to your Adobe Muse website. Um, so if I open the browser here, um, a, a favicon is this little image that you see when you open a tab uh, in the browser. So here I have the Muse for You logo, and if I go to museforyoushop.com, we can see that all of the pages that I have on my website have this favicon, the Muse for You logo. Uh, so if anyone were to save your website, um, it would appear in the bookmarks um, link or with the text, the little favicon would appear. And you've probably seen this a lot for many different websites where that little icon or the logo of the website or uh, whatever the website is about will show up um, either in the top of the browser or when you save it as a bookmark, um, the little icon appears as well. Uh, so it's a nice feature to have. So if someone is saving your website, um, it has your logo or they can quickly distinguish that it's your website by the favicon. So it's kind of like branding or you know making it easy to find uh, your website. So to add a favicon, it's very easy in Adobe Muse. Uh, you just I'll just open up Adobe Muse. Um, I'll create a new site and I'll click OK. I'll double click and in the the website, I'll just go to File Site Properties. And here, um, at first, you'll probably see layout, but if you go to content, there's this option here that says favicon image, and it's short for like favorite icon image. And then you can click on the folder, and I'll click on the Muse for You logo, and I'll click OK, and I'll preview in the browser. So there, the the favicon shows up. Uh, now, the favicon images, I like to have them around 32 by 32 uh, pixels uh, because the favicon is usually 16 pixels by 16 pixels so it is very small um, so if you have a large image and then you shrink it down a lot it's not going to look that great so at first you might want to resize the image to let's say 32 by 32 or even 16 by 16 so you can uh, see how the image will look within the favicon so it won't um, lose a lot of quality if you take a huge image and uh, resize it down um, so little icons like you know, these little icons here, they'll work really nice for a favicon. You don't want to add too much detail because it is just kind of like a logo uh, so people can distinguish your website. Um, so if I change the favicon in here and I'll change it to something else like this water drop, click OK, and I preview, we can see that it's now a water drop here. Um, so just really nice, you know, like your logo would, would be great to have uh, for the favicon. And there's the coffee cup. And you can kind of see when you upload the favicon, it kind of shows you what it's going to look like here in Adobe Muse. Um, another website you could use to see how your favicon will look is favicon.cc. And then you can upload your favicon. So you can import an image. And I'll choose you know a file here. And I'll say upload. And then it'll show you right up here, it'll show the favicon. So if you just wanted to test and see how your favicon will look, you can use this website or just straight in Adobe Muse works as well too. Just uploading here and then you can test with different favicons and it'll show up immediately uh, in Adobe Muse here. Okay, so there's the favicon. Uh, so that's it for quick tip number five, adding a favicon to your Adobe Muse website. Um, they're really useful, it can help really brand your website or make it easy for someone to find your website if they bookmark it um, or add it to their favorites. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.